What's up, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Crate TV. So in today's video, let's talk about what's going on right now. 2020, is it still worth it to have the iPhone 8 Plus? So if you're new here and you like this type of videos, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe for more daily content. Post videos weekly. So jump on board. But let's talk about this iPhone 8 Plus. It just still worth it to have iPhone 8 Plus in 2020. Yes, iPhone 8 Plus is a good phone. Don't get me wrong, this phone, you know, you still, especially if you still like Touch ID, you don't want all the whole Face ID. This is the product red version. This is a 256 gigabyte. I still use it to this day to help make out my videos. Even though I shoot videos with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I do still shoot videos with the iPhone 8 Plus. Camera quality is still up to par. There's a little features, you know, hit and miss that you don't get on the iPhone um, 8 Plus that you get on the iPhone 11, like especially when you're in the um, when you're in the camera mode. You can see right here, camera, bam. You can't tap like on the on the 11, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro. I don't know about the 10 or the 10s. I never had one, but on the 8 Plus, you can't change the frame rate like if you're recording video so you have to go back to your settings like the old version how we did but you know it's still nice to have that like that touch button feel you still get the two cameras that's in the back yeah so if you know you're looking to upgrade you don't want to spend that much money just before apple releases a new phone go ahead and iphone 8 plus you know still worth it especially if you want to get something that's under budget you know you don't want to spend that much iphone 8 plus is pretty good if not wait for the iphone 9 which is will be releasing soon and um there is links for that coming out soon so stay tuned for that iphone 8 plus 2020 you know this phone is still clean keep it in the case as you can see right here no no scratches no dinks on it no, no face id but you still do get the touch id the touch id is still kind of still kind of quick you know unlocks real quick get there you know camera quality you know i'll take a picture of you guys and you guys be the judge there you guys are right there okay and then i'll do a two time zoom camera quality is it's okay you know still it still gets the job done um i'll be showing those pictures up there yeah it still gets the job done you know you still can vlog and record with this phone now the front facing camera on this one is 720 no 4k quality but still gets the job done you know you can still get it done i still listen to music off this phone still use this phone rarely so in 2020 if you want to purchase yourself in iPhone 8 Plus just before the iPhone 9 comes out and you don't want to get the face ID, you don't want to lose your touch ID, yes, it's still worth it. I don't know how many gigabytes you'll be able to get. You know, you can still, you can still use it, get done. So basically, you know, where do iPhone, especially if you want to have like a backup phone, you know, work from home, be able to get some angle, other other shots, it's always good. That's the real only reason why I have two phones because I can set up one phone, one somewhere, set up another phone, another way, another tripod, you know, got my iPad set up. So, you know, I help you in the Apple ecosystem. I dived in, got the, you know, iPad Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, 8 Plus, 7 plus 6 plus all over there macbook you know you don't want to dive into the apple's ecosystem but i did now i just i i rather use phones than buying cameras because you know i feel that the quality on the phone if you learn how to shoot real good with a phone photography or videography with a phone you get very good quality hey that's good for that yeah iphone 8 plus 2020 is it still worth it yes it is if you want to get yourself one go ahead and get one i use mine you know i want to catch different angles might put a tripod over here tripod over there might want to get an overhead shot shot in this case of something i'm doing but hey iphone 8 plus still worth it in 2020 get yourself one stay tuned for a video comparison when the i'm gonna do a video test of the iphone 11 pro max versus the iphone 8 plus but if you know other than that if you did enjoy this video subscribe if you're new we're on our way to 700 subscribers hopefully we can get to 700 real soon my goal is to get to a thousand by summer or my birthday and you know bigger goal is 2500 by the end of the year maybe even 5000 so i'm gonna be pushing out more content going even harder trying to go real serious uh, and hold back on nothing never give up have have to be safe for everybody god bless everybody peace it's your boy brad from Crate tv deuce